What is going on, YouTube and Weight Loss Warriors? It's your boy, C-Dub, and I'm back with another video. And today, I want to talk about science and intermittent fasting, and I want to dive into this you know, rabbit hole, if you will. But before I get into that, I just wanted to let you guys know that I know it's been a couple of weeks uh, since I last posted, and it's been real busy. I mean, not only do I got a lot going on at work, but I know if you guys remember way back in October, my mom had the heart surgery, and she went into the hospice, and then they moved her to the senior living facility. Well, we've brought her home now, so that's been quite an adjustment in trying to figure out how to balance work, balance family, and balance the fact that we had to get her home and settled in and all of that good stuff. So sorry for the last two weeks, but I'm back. I'm going to give you three videos this week. So stay tuned Monday, Wednesday, and Friday for those videos. Of course, today is Monday. So hitting this topic of science and intermittent fasting is something that is really important. And um, if you think, if you've never clicked on a video of mine before and you think that I'm coming out of nowhere, I did use intermittent fasting and specifically mostly OMAD to lose 125 pounds. So that's kind of where my background and understanding of this goes. And of course, I've done endless research and watched many you know, videos and studied so many different studies on intermittent fasting. So I think I have kind of an expertise to talk about this. And the problem right now is Science is a word we throw around all of the time, and people use science to prove all kinds of points that aren't true, and because they only use pieces of science to get their point across, and this is where things can get super tricky. Companies can pay people to, you know, scientists to run a study about a certain topic, and so a company that wants to disprove something can pay the scientists money to disprove it. Now, they don't intentionally hand them money and say, hey, listen, disprove it. But you know where that money is coming from and you know why they hired you to do it. You want to make the study look favorable to them so that they fund you in the future and fund future studies. Because remember, science costs money. So these scientists are caught between a rock and a hard place. They can't be exactly 100% truthful all of the time in every single thing they say because then they can't get the funding that they want. And they're looking at trying to look at a different picture or a bigger picture and it doesn't come across the way that we need it to to really truly understand it so there's science on both sides of intermittent fasting there's science that says that this is something that works and that this is positive and it's going to change your life and it's going to be impactful and there's science that says you know this is just another version of the starvation diet and it's going to hurt you and it's going to make long-term problems so I wanted to talk about what to think because I mean I'm sure you can find you can say why shouldn't I intermittent fast right now on YouTube, and I'm sure you'd get a laundry list of videos that have important points, and some of them may even have studies backing up the information they're giving you. And then you could put in the Google, you could put in your YouTube feed and say, well, why should I intermittent fast? And the exact opposite's gonna come up. And some of the points are gonna be on both sides, and you're gonna just, boom, what do I do? Well, here's my advice to you. First and foremost, look to people that have had success like myself. I have done this. I've lost 125 pounds over three years ago. Uh, that, that's a huge number, and I've done it, but there's l tons of other people that have. Then the second thing I would look at is say, is does that mean that there's science behind it? No, that doesn't mean there's science behind it. Might have worked well for me, might not work well for you. But go give it a shot. Give it your best effort. Do it the right way. Make sure you're hitting all the little teeny points that you hear in these videos and, and, and videos that are like mine. And at the end of the day, start looking at your results. If the scale is moving down, then it is working for you. And it doesn't matter if some scientist says that it won't because it is working. And if the scale isn't working for you, it might be time for you to switch to a different fasting protocol or switch to a different diet that is going to work. Because this is not a one size fits all journey. And that is the problem with weight loss to begin with. Each one of us have gained weight for different reasons. There's hormonal reasons, there's emotional reasons, there's genetic reasons. And so not everybody is gonna fit into the exact same box. Just because OMAD works for me and is relatively easy for me to get through my day eating one meal a day, which I've done for over three years, just because it's easy for me does not mean that it's easy for you. And I think that that is something that we have to come to the realization of. And we have to understand that each one of our journeys 
is just a slight bit different and we have different things in front of us so we're going to have to react differently. So don't worry so much about what scientific study is backing it up. Or don't worry so much about whether, you know, you need this diet to, to match with it or that diet will improve your, your, your odds or whatever the case is. And just start getting into a situation where you take a break from eating. And I think you're going to find there's all kinds of benefits from taking a break from eating that you're not even thinking about that are even more than weight loss. And at the end of the day, I think it's the way to go. So I am glad to be back on this channel. I can't wait to hear your comments down below about this subject. And I hope you guys are happy to have me having a couple more videos. I'm going to be hitting them up this week. I promise I got some good stuff coming. So stay tuned. Each and every one of you are wonderful. I appreciate you. I will talk to you on the next one. Peace.